Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at green coffee bean extract and raspberry ketone. Yesterday, September 10th, 2012, Dr. Oz opened his new season featuring green coffee bean and marketers, retailers, and online advertisers that were using his name, logo, or image to market products he features on his show. This video is about my personal experience with these products and I'm not endorsing, advertising, or marketing these particular products or their vendors. What piqued my interest in these products was that they didn't have any significant side effects. I typically don't take dieting products and the last time I tried a fad diet product was in the mid 90s when Cordy Slim was a new founded diet product. Going into this, I didn't have any expectations. My typical weight loss process involves reducing my portions and exercising. When it comes to weight loss or even weight, we have a tendency now to associate weight with fat. Weight by definition is the amount or quantity of heaviness or mass. So weight is going to encompass our entire body mass versus just fat. The product you see on the far left is a standard coffee bean extract. Not necessarily what is recommended when it comes to getting a pure coffee bean product as you see in the middle. And on the right, a certified raspberry ketone product. Since there wasn't any particular expectations, I didn't necessarily feel less hungry or that I felt full sooner upon finishing a meal. This effect may vary by individual. However, there didn't appear to be any kind of placebo effect worth noting. My first week on the standard product, which was 200 milligrams per pill, and the recommended dosage is 400 milligrams, I went through these in about six days. During those six days, I actually added an additional 1,400 calories to kind of compensate for what I thought would be a 200 calorie weight loss a day burn. I also reduced my workouts to just one day of moderate free weights for an hour and one day of 45 minute light cardio. When I weighed in on the seventh day, my weight had dropped about three pounds. Needless to say, I was surprised. Even compensating for what I thought I'd lose, I was actually able to drop weight despite adding calories and decreasing my physical activity. I wouldn't consider that typical for anyone, it's just what I experience. I'd like to mention that during the course of this experiment, I never experienced any type of side effects. No jitteriness, excitability, heart racing, or any stimulant type effects. Week 2, after taking all the standard product, I moved into the next week with the suggested pure green coffee bean. The second week I decreased my additional calories to 1200 with two days of moderate heavy free weights and when I weighed in on the seventh day I maintained my weight so I neither gained nor lost. Keep in mind of course muscle weighs more than fat and despite what the scale said I was in fact losing fat. The third week I continued with the green coffee beans and introduced the raspberry ketone. In that third week I reduced my additional calories to just 800. I didn't do any kind of workout. When I weighed in on the seventh day, I had lost an additional pound, so four total for that week. At this point, I was starting to notice a loss in fat, which is what most of us are really looking for. Despite the small step weight loss, I was losing fat, and that is our objective. The final week, which I just completed as of this videotaping, I maintained the four pound weight loss. During my last week, I did return to two days of moderate free weights and one day of 45 minute cardio workout, as well as returning to my typical reduced portion calorie intake for the week of 1200 calories a day. I'm not suggesting you try any of these particular methods or level of portion control. Speak with your doctor before you start any weight loss program or dietary program. This project was purely to see if the product didn't have any kind of side effects and whether or not it would work. Based upon my outline and experience, I'd say the product can help in reducing fat, but isn't exclusive to losing weight. As a lot of you know, if you want to lose weight, you have to reduce your portions, eat healthy, and exercise. You guys know this, so it's not a matter of more awareness or education. It's about developing a plan and practicing the method. Just from my experience, I have to say I am surprised by the result. They will vary by individual, but for me, I was able to see some level of results. From an expense perspective and based upon your budget, you may want to consider the cost. The standard product that's on the left was significantly cheaper than the recommended and just in my experience, they seem to work about the same. 
The certified Raspberry Ketone was the most expensive product, and if you have the budget for it, I'd say give it a try. But nothing is as effective as the old standard of reducing your portions and exercising. When I've approached my doctor about products I take for these types of projects, he always says, so what happens after you stop taking them? That's a very poignant response and one that you have to consider, particularly when it comes to weight loss. Are you going to be willing to continue purchasing a product to help you lose and or maintain your weight? Overall, I'd say consider your budget, consider your health, consult your doctor, do your research, and see if this product would be something you'd be willing to try. In my own opinion, I may consider to purchase the products to help me get past the plateau, but once I do, then I know it's going to be a matter of maintaining my weight. I know I didn't go into a lot of detail concerning my workout regimen or dietary choices because this was mainly focusing on these products and their claims. If you guys have any particular questions or concerns, you're welcome to comment below. If you felt the video was helpful, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching.